Hi there, welcome back to another video of Product X. Today we have some exciting news for you. With the help of your valuable feedback and hours of research and development, we have extensively updated the query building functionality of Product X. Now you can sort, select, and arrange your product with ease. Before we show you how to use the Product Sort feature, make sure that you have the Product X plugin installed and activated on your site. The number one WooCommerce blog and builders plugin to create your store and skyrocket your earnings. To access the product sort functionalities, click on the product grid you want to edit in the back end of your website. From the blog setting, scroll down till you see the product sort option of product X, then expand it. Now we can see all the new and own query building functionalities available with product X. So let's go through them one after another. The first option that we can see is a product sort, allowing us to select products to be displayed. We can choose specific product or display our users' most recently viewed products. Additionally, we also have separate query options like upsell queries for single product page, cross sell queries for cart page, and archive builder queries for archive pages. We will talk about them later in the video. We can even set product to be displayed based on tags, categories, ratings, views, sales, and even randomly from the advanced sort drop-down menu. Next, we can find the bar to set the number of products to be displayed, followed by the bar which lets us offset our product. Suppose you have multiple products in your grid or have selected product based on categories, tags, etc. You can set product to be displayed by status, which are all featured and on sale. We can arrange them in order by date, price, rating, etc in an ascending or descending order. The stock status option lets you display your product based on their status. You can set it to display your only in-stock products, out-of-stock products or on back order products. Yes, with Product X, you can allow products on back order. Now let's talk about taxonomy. The taxonomy feature lets us display a product based on categories, tags, or attributes such as color, size, etc. But that's not it. We can even display product based on multiple taxonomy using product text. To do so, select multiple taxonomy option from the menu. Then, enter multiple taxonomy values. It could be categories, tags or even specific attributes. Finally, select the taxonomy relation. Select or if you want product to meet at least one taxonomy value. Select and if you want the product to meet all the taxonomy values. We can also opt not to display a particular product with the excluded product option. Likewise, we can decide whether to include or exclude products from specific author. Now let's talk about the additional product sorting options we mentioned earlier. We will start with the upsell product query for the single product page. This will display similar item adjacent to the product your customer is interested in. We can easily set up upsell product query using the single product page template of product X. Just click on the product grid. From the block setting, go to the product sort section of product X. Then click on product sort and select upsell product. Now the product that you want to upsell will be displayed. Similarly, for cross sale product, click on the product grid from the cart page template. In the block settings product sort menu, select cross sale products. 
For archive builder queries, click on the product grid of the archive page template. Select archive builder from the product sort menu. So that's it for this video. To learn more about Advanced Query Builder, check out our blog post. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming videos or product texts.